What's going on viewers? Welcome back to another video. I got a box. Okay. Appreciate it if you guys leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as it helps me out a lot. And um, I'm doing something else here, but this is for another video. So we're gonna start unboxing here. If you guys could tell from the intro, I got a, a Jeep Wrangler Sahara two door 2012. Not too familiar with Jeeps. Uh, I'm just starting to get into them. So I got a few things here and I'm gonna show you guys and then I'm gonna show you guys when they're installed. I'm not gonna do installation videos because I'm not sure how this video is gonna do really. And I'm just posting it because it's a lot of, you know, look back and see my first <laughs> modifications to the Jeep. I think I'm still missing a few things, but I'm not sure yet. I still haven't gotten into it. I just opened the box and saw that it was all this. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. I'll start kind of like a raw cut here. I'm gonna just show you guys uh, one of the first things I got. And just by the look of it, I could already see it's the short antenna. So check this out. I uh, bought one of these, they're pretty cheap. Not bad. I mean, I use Bluetooth most of the time anyway, so I don't really care how it performs. But it, uh, not bad. It was uh, 20 bucks, I believe, on Amazon. And I'll see how it looks. But I'll do a before and after on how this looks because this is it's gonna make a big difference for sure. Next, let's see what's in here. I'm not sure what's in here. Uh, um, I'm actually not sure. I think these are the lights. Oh, okay. I know what this is. This is a rear view camera mount. So it mounts onto the spare with this bracket under. I'll show you guys there. And the camera goes through the spare tire, which um, is kind of like OEM style, really. So I really like that. As, as I don't know if I mentioned it before or not. I'm really trying to keep this build as OEM as possible. All right, moving on to the next one. But this is, oh, awesome, okay. These are handles for the inside. So when you climb in and out, whatever metal attachments I have, I'm kind of doing in red. And these are very small, you can barely see them really, so. Um, yeah, these are look pretty cool. So I do the before and after, obviously, in all these parts, so you guys can get an idea. Next box that I opened up is basically uh, this. It's kind of like a, it's like a little, little holder. You can use it to store things or whatever. It goes in the handle that's in front of your passenger seat. So yeah, I bought this pretty cheap. Um, I'll see how, how it turns out. I'm, I'm not sure if it blocks the airbag or not. I've seen some have cutouts. I'm not sure if this one's like that, but we'll see. Here's a quick and easy one. Uh, what I got here is an adapter for the tow hitch. Basically, this is the big part that goes into the tow hitch and this is a smaller part for my uh, bike rack over there. So I bought, as you can see here, they're grill inserts for the front. If you don't notice, the front of the Sahara is pretty exposed. The Sahara specifically, any Jeep of that era is pretty exposed in the front. And there's a bunch of like, I live in the city, so there's a bunch of like chips and everything in the front condenser. So <clears throat> yeah, so I bought this. Maybe I'll protect it a little bit. And it kind of gives it a newer look since the new Jeeps come with it. And again, I'm trying to like do like modernized um, modifications to this Jeep. So I'll show you guys the before and after on that. I have no idea what it is the handles over there that um the handles that go on the side but i also bought these straps they're also handles that you stra strap onto a roll cage and they're kind of like you know just handles um i do have a two door so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with this this one i might put towards the back maybe someone wants to hop in the back they have something to hold on to so yeah anyways next i believe these are my led corner lights and yes they are I bought clear LED quarter lights. My lights are pretty busted, so yeah. Bought those. I know these are, yep, 
my headlights. Show you guys these are my headlights. Kind of bought them. Uh, I like the style of these. It's probably the cleanest style that they had in the market. And these are the fog lights. I'm not sure if I'm going to connect the LED ring on these, but yeah, pretty cool. I'm going to start putting the simple things on. The lights and everything is going to take me a while. I know this is not a Jeep channel. I mainly focus on my IS300 and I'll show you guys right now my M4, but why not? Uh, it's still modifying a car no matter what it is. What's going on, guys? I forgot to record an outro for this video, so I'm doing it now. I'm here uh, buffing these cars, giving them a nice wax. I already did this one, as you can see, nice and shiny. And this one's next. Well, I'm halfway through this one. So if you guys like this video, leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing as, you know, these little things go a long way. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.